Hello, and welcome back to Markenstein Coin Lab, where I'm going to be doing a series of discovery videos here on upgrading from Windows 7 to a uh, newer PC. And uh, what prompted me to do this in about January of 2023 is I got this to get future Brave updates. You will need Windows 10 or later. This computer is using Windows 7 and then you have the A, you can click on it and it'll go away. So I clicked on learn more and what I found out is that Brave is sunsetting support for Windows 7 and 8 and 8.1. Um, I really liked Windows 7 and I've been using it for a long time uh, so I started looking into what other operating systems I could move into, Windows 10, Windows 11, and then there's these Linux options and the one I liked was called Ubuntu. Um, so I would need, uh, I could either upgrade my PC or I could get another one, a newer one, and put Ubuntu on it. So I headed over to, uh, to eBay here and uh, I did a search on Dell PCs. So it brought up a page and I started looking into the different machines. Now I searched on, I wanted to go with a lower cost option. So uh, I went and started looking into what I could get here. And I'm, what I was looking for was something like uh, 4 or 8 gigs memory. This has 6 gigs memory here, which is the amount of the memory the machine has. I also wanted to make sure the speed of the CPU, or the speed in general, I kind of wanted it to be somewhat fast, so I went with, I wanted above 3 gigahertz, see the GHZ there, 3 gigahertz PC. Um, so it's, it's fast, it's uh, got enough memory that I, I, I liked, and I'm okay. Now this, this option here stands for no hard drive. Now I would just put in a newer SSD. I know how to upgrade machines like that. So uh, I can do that. Um, I also looked at, uh, I kind of wanted 8 gigs, so this was kind of what I, the direction I went. And so I like the Dell, so I went with the Dell. Um, and I picked the, uh, I got the th above 3 gigahertz, uh, 8 gigs memory, 8 GB. That's 8 gigabytes, and that's the, me the memory the machine has. And then this one did come with a hard drive. This is what the 500 gigabyte SATA stands for. And then the no OS here is no operating system. And I was fine with that because I was going to put Ubuntu on the machine. And this is a good price. This is $54.99 and the shipping is uh, only 1570 so that wasn't too bad I mean our, our total cost here would make that uh, 50, 60, 70, 71 dollars give or take so um, for 71 dollars I'd have a newer machine uh, with Ubuntu on it and that was fine now I realized a lot of uh, my friends um, who were asking me about upgrading and about Windows 7 and who want to keep their Windows 7 machine and want to do the same kind of thing where they're going to take their stuff from the Windows 7 machine and move it over to their newer machine uh, probably don't want to do this Ubuntu thing that I'm doing but um, would like to just have Windows 10 on it so if you look a little further down the pages of eBay there you will find uh, I found this Discount Computer Depot. The nice thing about it is if you look, they have this the Discount Computer Depot. They are Microsoft authorized refurbisher. So that means they, they uh, refurbish the machine pretty well. And they stand by the, uh, uh, you, you get apparently through, you know, you see some good accolades here. Um, and I, what I look for is uh, somebody who is either a reseller or refurbisher or something like that and that they, they've uh, at least offer a return or something like that if the machine is damaged or something. 
um, but that uh, they'll they'll offer some sort of uh, you know that they've been around for a while and they've been selling machines and where here you can see they've sold 1036 machines and uh, this is a really good deal because you get a, a, a newer CPU which is the Dell the i3 um, as we go down here if you look I believe it says yeah the processor speed is a that 3.1 gigahertz um, it comes with the uh, 8 gigabytes memory it comes with a 500 gigabyte HD or hard drive um, and it also comes with Windows 10 already which like I, I looked into the cost of buying a new Windows 10 license and that was over hundred dollars and I was like well I can get a whole machine including a monitor the computer a keyboard and a mouse for a hundred and twenty two eighty two and this does come with the shipping so you get all that now there'll be a little tax you gotta pay but you know what we'll say I don't know what a hundred and thirty bucks you get the whole thing and that that was about the same cost so this is an out-of-the-box solution where it's already ready to go and you don't have to do this now I I want to move into uh, uh, I like the Ubuntu because um, it will uh, as as they come out with newer ones it's got an upgrade option and it's at no cost so it'll keep uh, updating itself and you don't have to keep getting uh, go from you know seven to ten to eleven in the Windows realm. Uh, so it seems like a, a, a smoother option for me but you also now have to learn Ubuntu it's a little different I've already loaded it on a, a machine I got and uh, um, a little bit of a learning curve but it, it's pretty similar and I like the speed it is fast and uh, it it uh, it works really well so uh, so I, I've, I've been enjoying it but for for most of uh, we'll say my friends the out of the box option oops the out of the box option would be the way to go where you get an already together machine it's got the, uh, the everything already built in so you don't have to do any you don't have to open it up and put in anything new or anything like that it just you just pretty much plug it in set it up and it works uh, you will have to move your stuff from your Windows 7 machine to your Windows 10 or your Ubuntu machine, whatever direction you choose. Uh, you still have to move your documents and your pictures over and stuff, and I will show later on how to do that. Uh, so at this point, I'm, I'm showing uh, the options here for just picking the hardware, essentially, uh, for, your, uh, for your newer PC so I went to eBay I uh, my preference is Dell but you could go with uh, if you have a different preference of machines um, and then now I looked through these the I went through a little I wanted to save the 10 or 20 dollars but honestly uh, looking at this uh, this one's a 110 you get a 17 inch monitor I I like the little bigger monitor so for just a little bit more you get a 19 inch monitor um, so this is an all ready to go package and the bonus is you get an extra monitor some of us already have uh, bigger monitors than 19 inch and stuff so this would just be a secondary monitor to have around but you could use it on your Windows 7 machine in the process of setting up your your Windows 10 machine or your Ubuntu machine if you want to go the route that I uh, that I went so I'm ju I'm just showing the uh, this page here uh, this the, they come with uh, the, this looks pretty good uh, it looks like uh, it shows everything in here the product info and stuff is what I'm just taking a quick look at um, so at this point I would say that would be a good route to go and I will continue my series. The next one will be, and I'll go back to the page here, I will uh, talk about is um, getting Ubuntu. You have to download it and then you have to put it onto a USB stick and load it. And it's actually pretty easy to do, but 
if you didn't want that extra steps then you might want to go this route with this Windows 10 machine already with the Windows 10 already built in so at this point I I will say uh, first getting the uh, PC mine took I don't know about a week maybe 10 days I guess before it was at my door and uh, yes yeah, so everything's been working with it and so uh, I will show you the next thing is getting the operating system which is Windows uh, uh, not Windows excuse me Ubuntu uh, Windows comes on this is what this is yeah that's the nice thing here so um, so we will get um, download Ubuntu and then I'll show you how to put it on a USB stick and uh, and load it into your machine so look for that uh, it's gonna take me a little time because I gotta redo all this um, I need to find something to uh, I gotta find another machine I can put uh, the Ubuntu on so I can show you so it's gonna take me a little while to set up my uh, my presentation here so other than that uh, I would say take care and have a good day alright bye